Here we're ready for part two of the measurement experiment. We're going to be looking at volume here. All the volumes that we measure are going to be done in milliliters. Again, you can see here that the three pieces of glass where we're going to be using are a 50 milliliter beaker, a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, and a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. I also have some water over here in my 250 milliliter beaker. We're going to start with the 50 milliliter beaker. And we're going to take this beaker and we're going to add approximately 30 milliliters to it. Whenever you measure volume, it's important to look at the bottom of the meniscus. Now in a beaker, this is somewhat difficult to see because it's a very broad container. But we can see that the bottom of this line seems to be touching my 30 mark. As this is graduated to tens of milliliters, we would estimate to the ones of milliliters. Since this is very close to the line, we'll say that this is 30 milliliters, or 30 point milliliters, or 3.0 times 10 to the uh, first milliliters. So there we have 30 point milliliters. Notice that when you're measuring volume, sometimes it helps to put something of a different color behind the measuring vessel in order to more clearly read where the meniscus is. We're gonna take some of this water right here and we're gonna transfer it into our 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. Specifically, we wanna transfer about nine milliliters. So here you can see our graduated cylinder and I'm gonna see what I can do to add nine milliliters. For the last milliliter, I'm actually gonna add some water drop-wise using a pipette and a rubber bulb to try to get it closer to where I'd like it to be. All right, let's take a look at where we're at. Again, it's very important to measure the bottom of that meniscus. You'll notice that your eye is slightly above where that wants to be for this. To correct for this, we may need to move things up or down. So I'm gonna put a little spacer here beneath our, flat, our uh, graduated cylinder so that the camera is more level with the space that we're trying to read. Now again, I'll put my hand behind here and we can see that meniscus falls right here. So I'm actually gonna say that's just a little bit above nine. All right, these graduations are one milliliter apart. We can tell that because there's 10 of marks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, between 10 and 20, all right? So we're gonna wanna record this to the tenths of a milliliter. So we're gonna say this is 9.1 milliliters. Now we're gonna take this entire volume and transfer it into our 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. It's important to note there may be some error between the two cylinders as some water does remain in the 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. However, most of it is transferred and we should be able to make a pretty good measurement here. All right now, let's see if we can actually get this even a little closer. There we go. And we can see that again, this is a little bit above nine bottom of the meniscus being between the 9 and the 9.1 line. I'd say this is about 9.04. So since we have a higher number of graduations here, since every line is a tenth of a milliliter instead of a milliliter, we estimate one more space out.
So here we can see the effect that the differing precision in each piece of glassware gives us on our ability to make measurements.